Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my engagement makeup and it is actually my engagement makeup. I'll put my pictures here and there so that you can see. So so this is what I carried off on my engagement when we had our own religious um, ceremonies like the roka which goes on with the family and stuff. So this is how I had my makeup and I thought why not do a tutorial and help you guys and this look is using completely Indian drugstore stuff and for eyeshadow I think I've only used three type of eyeshadows one is actually a compact so I think you should actually check it out and so yep this is my finished look and you can also check it out in my peach one this is my peach lipstick and this is my red lipstick and you will see me in both of them so yep that's how it's going to go like and subscribe to my channel until next time so just put on your conceal uh, your um foundation as your concealer the thing that I did was I took my compact powder and this is my MAC um, NW42 my compact on my blending brush and then what I did is I opened my eyes and I'm looking straight into the mirror and I'm just tracing it above my crease eyeshadow you don't have to follow whatever I am doing anything close to this eyeshadow you can take it and you can create this look so I will be taking this um, plum shade which is from NYC palette and then what I will do is I'll just take a little bit on my blending brush tap the axis and what I will do again is I'll put that in my crease now I'll close my eyes and I'll, wherever I've stopped with my compact powder, I'll put it there. Now when you're done placing the eyeshadow as you desire, what I'll do is I'll blend both of these together, my compact and my um, plum shade. For today, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Zero to Hourglass Eyeshadow. This is a really pretty 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 uh, glitter color and at first when I bought this I was like I'm just buying it for the heck of it but then now when I got to use it for my engagement I was totally surprised how good it turned out to. What I'll do is I'll take a little on my brush, tap the axis and the first there are two ways I've applied it. First what I did is I dragged everything on my eyelid first like so. exact way I want it to look like so now what I'll do is I'll take some on my brush again and now I'll just dab it wherever I want it so you can see a difference when you drag it here and when you dab it here and now when this is done what I will do is again go to my uh, plum shade a little on your blending brush and just blend everything together that I've used are from Indian drugstore so it is very easy for you to access that you can use this look for either a party look but I had this for my engagement and I'll put pictures here and there and you guys can see that it is actually from my engagement and I'm not cheating and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my eyeliner and I'm using my um, color essence eyeliner right here I would be the kajal and I'm using my max factor cold kajal and you can use any kajal it will stay long this stays long so I'm gonna use this what I'm going to do is I'm also going to tight line my eyes I've applied my kajal what I'll do is I'll go back to my plum shade again take it on a Dense, uh, dense brush like this and I will put it under my waterline when you're done with that what I'll do is I'll go in with a black eyeshadow or a brown eyeshadow whatever you like and you can fill in your brow to highlight 
for my brow bone what I'm using is going to be my L'Oreal uh, blush which is in the blushing kiss I'm using this one in the bottom one right here to highlight my brow bone next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mascara and I'm going to apply tons and tons and tons of mascara because I'm not going to apply falsies but I'll have tons of mascara which will look like a falsie mascara to my lower lash line it looks like spider spider legs trust me it does now that we're done with eyes we'll move on to face now, first thing that i did is i applied my pons flawless white moisturizer i'm going to use my foundation this is l'oreal um, infallible 24 hour fresh and i've uh, used I've done a review on this if you want you can check it out and I'm just going to use one pump of this like one complete pump Done. what I did is I took my compact of a Mac again and what I will do is I'll set everything the first thing that I will do is I will set my under eye and I'll just dab it here later I'll start buffing in on my face the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a blush I did not do any contouring like no contouring at all the one that i'm using is going to be from maybelline cheeky glow cheeky glow yeah it is the cheeky glow i kind of broke it so i can't show you <laughs> face again i will be using my l'oreal uh, blush but the one that is underneath that i will use as a highlighter the face now it's time for the lips so the first one which i actually applied on that day was this which was from l'oreal so what i will do is i'll apply the one that i've actually applied and i will apply a red and i'll show you how it looks so this is what the finished look looks like i have my earrings on if you have a really nice heavy dress this will compliment you and if, if you have a simple dress then I suggest you go for a bright uh, red lip which is here so if you go for a bright red lip then it will look amazing and if you have a really heavy dress like my dress was a little in between and my jewelry was a little heavy and my purse was really heavy like I had complete stone work so if you can look at my purse it has complete work on it and that is the only reason I kept my uh, lips so simple so your lips completely depend upon how you want it to be so um, yep if your dress is heavy go for a peachy lipstick if your dress is a little light and if you want to bring out your face really strong then you can use a red lipstick I hope you've liked this tutorial like and subscribe to my channel until next time